Now it's our honor to, to welcome Catherine Connell Kailash Bansal, Director AICT. Let's have a perspective from AICT on how we can reimagine startup transformation to redefine entrepreneurial mindset. What is the present? What is the default? Over to you, Lieutenant Kailash Bansal. Well, uh, thank you very much uh, for calling me over. Firstly, I would uh, appreciate uh, my, my uh, deep sense of uh, gratitude to have been invited by Government of Kerala and APAC for delivering this lecture, uh, this, this sharing my insights, and uh, to respected uh, Satyajit Ranjan sir. And uh, of course, I've met uh, Mr. Naveen Mittal once, and I've heard uh, Mr. Nagarajan earlier. So thank you very much uh, for calling me over and sharing some of my views. And it was really, really, uh, I mean, like, thought provoking the, uh, the point put across by uh, both Mr. Nagarajan and Mr. Naveen. Of course, I never knew the kind of uh, ecosystem which uh, already existed at IIT Kanpur. So thank you, sir, uh, Bandhupadhe, sir, Professor Bandhupadhe. It's amazing to hear that uh, we manufactured uh, cancer drugs worth and that company was taken off uh, to the tune of 36,000 crores. Wow, that's, that's really, really amazing. I just want to get a small feedback. Is my screen visible, please? Uh, Am I on? Yes, it is visible. Yes, it is visible now. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, it, it's, I am a kind of a person who has no background to academics. Of course, I have studied this. That is what academics background. Uh, that Mr. Ransom, can you just uh, put your presentation on full screen mode? Yeah, it is already put full screen, sir. Uh, no, but I think your slides are also coming on the left hand side. You can, okay. just, you can just put the presentation on play mode. I think then it will come. Yeah, from there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Look, is it now the answer? Uh, no, I think again the side screen is also coming. Oh, sure, I'll, I'll do th uh, different uh, things. I'll just reduce this so that we can just take a look at what. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. We'll go by yeah fine thank you for the correction sir uh, so uh, i i was just saying that i am an armed forces officer and i have little background into how academics work uh, other than what i have seen in the colleges and definitely in armed forces we don't have this concept of and, and in fact i've never heard of startup uh, being you know some kind of a earth mover uh, so uh, we all talked about in armed forces about the initiatives the uh, innovation that we used to do in house but never thought that those kind of innovation can actually lead to a big change. So my first uh, instance in uh, learning about or hearing about startup was when I joined AICT and then that really motivated me uh, to, to work hard. And of course I was handling the skill development cell when, when I happened to interact with so many young students on this issue. Uh, before I begin, I would only say two things that uh, my views are uh, kind of a neutral view I do not carry any, uh, you know, outside. I carry a rather outside view. I am looking outside to inside. Uh, of course, now I am inside. So, but still, I, given the backdrop that I have, I may sound a little radical at times. So, kindly excuse me and correct me. And uh, I would, I am all willing to learn as to how the things happen. So, to that extent, uh, I would just put a disclaimer. And uh, here I go. Uh, this is uh, firstly, I must put uh, my my gratitude to all the gurus who have been uh, there with me my parents and my teachers who have guided me so far and brought me to this level where I can you know, share the forum with the, such eminent personalities across in the panel. So thank you to all my gurus. In fact, uh, all of you have been my gurus as well. Uh, somewhere or the other, I have uh, heard uh, all of you and uh, that is how I've been able to grasp so much in so little time. So thank you everyone. And of course, uh, this journey of learning continues as far. So I just wanted to put uh, these two things as to what is more, is more a reality? Yes, we need some uh, more construction, some more, uh, we are growing at uh, some rapid pace, already almost 7 billion people in the world with India having uh, 1.5, 1.25 billion. So that's almost every fifth or sixth person, every sixth person on uh, Mother Earth is an Indian. But we don't find so many professionals. When we say one in six is an Indian, uh, my rough is my, my only guess. I don't have any facts, figures, data to prove that we are one in 50 as far as professional is concerned. So, definitely more is also a reality. We need more space, we need more food. 5,000, 15,000 liters, what is go, going to process meat and 
1500 so the idea is if more is a reality then even uh, less is a bigger reality because where will you produce this less so the only way to produce this less is uh, or to overcome this demand supply uh, chain is to have something which can help us in uh, economizing the entire whatever we have this is just a small snippet if we if we all see uh, 2.4 trillion tons of uh, megawatts of energy is thrown by sun to us and we are barely able to utilize just about 0.05 uh, billion that's about it we are utilizing so what i am homing at is we have to look at things of uh, why rather than uh, only money money is definitely not a uh, constraint it will it will happen money definitely is a important thing but it is not a constraint and it is not the only thing the thing is a startup a innovation if it happens it has to happen for a reason which is called why that why if it is there only then i believe a innovation uh, a startup can actually succeed this slide actually brings out the why we 2020 this sdg report was uh, given out that just as the uh, pandemic had broken out june 2030 2020 it was given out I, they, you can we can all just pick up any of these 17 uh, sustainable development goals uh, deep dive into it and see what is where and understand uh, i have just picked up uh, sdg number 8 uh, we can pick up anything but this this actually gives us a driving line uh, or a start line to start working any st any idea that comes out has to have some linkages uh, and it cannot happen that an idea which is there or a poc which is there is just for the whims and fancies. We can't just start writing stories and say that it is linked to gender equality. Till such time, it is a proven, there is a, uh, there is a strong linkage to, to any of the social cause, any of this thing. And nothing can be better than this. Uh, I, I've just picked up uh, number eight, which deals with economic growth. And this is what I could find out that uh, the, the kind of uh, loss, job loss, which had happened uh, during the pandemic, 4.2% uh, is overall world GDP is expected to de decline in 2021 area. Uh, so we've already looking at a job loss of 1.6 billion workers. And in India itself, if I'm if I remember correctly, the figures it is almost 200 million job losses across the across the country. That happened. We all uh, have seen the migrants walking back home and so on and so forth. So, but this is the source. Uh, this is the place where we can make all the difference. If, if, and if our economy grows, then only is the growth of the entire uh, ecosystem, the entire country, which is happening. Now, I'll just skip this. I'll also skip this, and I'll straight away come to where and what is in the pipeline. This is the uh, format which has been given out uh, for the national infrastructure pipeline. We must see the larger picture here. The larger picture is that if we have to achieve $5 trillion economy for India, we should be ready to spend $1.4 trillion. If this $1.4 trillion is going to be spent, it is going to be spent on two key areas, rather three key areas. One is energy, the second is road, and third is the railways. The lion's share of this 102 lakh crores, which is being, uh, which is being you know, uh, as an outlay, it is being given out. Is, is with the energy, which is 24%. So my intention of uh, picking up SDG and then now coming here, driving down to energy, is that this is the place we, which is going to make, uh, we, which has major potential for India to drive home this, its, its own $5 trillion economy. Uh, out of this 24%, uh, approximately to 24,800 or 25,000 uh, 25, lakh crores, which is going to come up, or outlay which has been made here, uh, 64.1 billion dollars is what is there for the renewable energy. And if we actually look, this is what is the energy sector. How much difference are we going to make? If you, if we just see the, the thermal is 66 percent. If I can move my mouse and say, uh, this is 66 percent thermal here, and we are aiming to just reduce it by 16 percent. We are not going to do away with the entire thermal energy. Just 16 percent. To the extent that renewable 22 percent is going to increase by 39 percent so the entire 16 percent approximately is just sh being shifted from thermal to renewable see the fine print here the fine print is just that thermal we are reducing but we are enhancing renewable so the we have to see the engines of growth this is the place 
this is the area this is the uh, this is the sector which is going to see 16% of uh, enhancement in maybe next 5 years so uh, the idea is we have to look at opportunities also rather than just keep working in isolation and trying to find out uh, where to fit our solution our solution it's just not reinventing the wheel we have to find how we can drive the wheel and then this the, there there are some pointers uh, we all, we have already seen resilience uh, i mean like look at the stock market how the way it is functioning from whatever it was at 30000 level we are already crossing 52000 level in less than a year so demands are back in place uh, energy sector of course is going to is just booming auto sector is booming what is not booming on what, what will take time to rebound is tourism and hospitality well uh, it's, it's a given thing we nobody will take that chance so that is going to take uh, some time to rebound but overall economy yes uh, there can be some lags also as far as renewable uh, energy things are concerned for example electric vehicles now uh, the confidence in electric vehicle is not come so far so can we have some kind of a startup ecosystem for batteries which can work with uh, or maybe uh, uh, some apps which can tell us where is the nearest battery station where, where we can just do a clean exchange of battery or maybe something like that so th- the idea is to focus in a direction which leads us to the solution uh, should set should should the step back be taken as such or should it set you back or is there a opportunity in the adversity well i i believe in every adversity there lies a opportunity and here we are today as india as a country that we are looking forward we have turned our adversity we have turned every possible uh, you know kind of a gray list area into a white list area professor bandopade just talked about wonderfully uh, mask uh, our ppe kits etc all these so we have we have capitalized on these and now of course uh, the leadership is there so i'll just talk about that a little bit but where is it how is it it is only going to happen if we use technology and be smart in using technology and that is where the innovation lies so what i am trying to link up is why of what we need to do and how we need to do is to use technology and be smart enough only then that this uh, idea and innovation will happen not otherwise uh, this is a fairly simple slide that you know we have jumped to 48 rank in uh, from 2015 but why have we jumped i think there is a need to look inwards and analyze that are we, are we only going to stay here at 48 or is there a chance or is there a case in point to look and uh, go to sub 20 rankings and then uh, you know that's a challenge that we all have so where we are working as aict body i will just come or oh, this is what to do different or how to do both i think leads to the same objective you can think of doing i am mean, like it's pretty simple but just to put across or rub across the point is uh, there is there is not many things that we can do different but there are there are different ways to do the same things differently i think uh, most of these startups most of the ecosystem that we have should rather focus on uh, how to do things differently uh, of course the first question itself is uh, good enough we can do th- different things all together also but i think the second question is where uh, most impact can actually come because you have to be smart to uh, you know recast the wheel in a different form not the wheel itself but how it functions the functions of the wheel this is a dilemma quadrant which perhaps every every youngster will be facing uh, i will just go over it in very short time uh, we we all have ability of two legs two hands but where are we developing the the uh, our running capability or our lifting capability to you know beat 100 meters in less than 10 seconds so that's the capability so we have to convert our ability that thought that idea into actual ground some proof of concept some kind of prototype which will help us uh, enable this uh, capability develop our capability it may be baby steps uh, hima das did not have uh, was not running uh, 100 meters from the day one but uh, definitely yes she had she was running something so the the transformation from ability to capability will only happen if you take some kind of risk creativity but just keeping it in your hearts will not lead to anything there has to be a risk taking you have to come out on road start running on sand like himadas did and that is where the risk taking capability has to be there 
the information uh, google is abound uh, the world is abound with information but what is important is to turn that information that idea use it intellectually uh, connect again i am repeating connect it with the dots and then develop that intellect to use that idea to solve some issues and that is where the delivery and connect happens you can just leave it at poc stage uh, it will i'm mean like professor bandopadhyay would agree that so many startups so many people uh, put come across of course uh, there is learning at every stage but the connect will only happen if you push yourself and you connect to the why of that idea the why is very important I, somehow i always keep repeating the why should be more important than what and how ah this is the place a teacher is the one who guides uh, the, the there is a transformational role there is a transactional role teacher plays both the roles and here uh, i must put across very very uh, humbly that it is the teacher who actually transform a youngster and a teacher who actually leads the risk taking capability of nurtures the risk taking capability of the youngster so very important and here we have our honorable chairman uh, professor sharth budey i am mean, like words fail me to put across his uh, capabilities and uh, whatever he leads from the front he has time for everyone in the middle of the night to to even when he is possibly just boarding the plane etc but what a wonderful uh, teacher he has been and now definitely in a transformational role leading aict some of the initiatives what has come through uh, during his helmanship uh we need uh, just four days five days back maybe last week only we had this need uh, 2.0 48 at tech companies had come and launched uh, their products uh, had a mou uh, so so it is it is not that that uh, one should stop at some places i'll just speak about mardashak initiative which i am heading uh, which is concerning uh, quality development in institutes to achieve accreditation and uh, get quality very important we have mardashan institute who as a institutional mechanism mentor the other aspiring institute and we also have individual mardashak senior academician who link up with the institutes to mentor them for uh, quality uh, this is the snapshot across india as to how many mardashak glad to know that uh, there are 964 beneficiaries which are already linked up uh, to this scheme and these these are the institutes who are actually producing uh, you know who are on the verge of accreditation they must get the accreditation so that the students who are studying there they get to have their degrees recognized across the world uh, in in most of the countries i'll skip this and i'll come to what aict has aict directly or indirectly has ministry of education innovation cell with us i have just given the link on the top uh, anybody can look at this more than 2500 institution innovation councils have been made they are the ones who are actually doing this mentoring process i i heard uh, mr mithal saying that uh, uh, mentoring is uh, somewhere important yes absolutely uh, there nothing can happen like i said a teacher nothing can happen without a good mentor until unless we don't have a mentor so uh, suffice to say as much uh, without repeat repetition uh, these days any government department that we go or rather if we knock on the doors will open its door for any innovation to come and you know uh, lead it but how and where to knock is the question i think we have to bridge as a as a policy maker somewhere we have to from our each and every department issue out some kind of a a uh, public notice that this is the place this is the area where we can uh, through which you can link up with us so uh, it is not that it is not available it is just that the information to the public is lacking any anyway, you name uh, even um, stpi uh, you name iits with uh, professor bandopadhyay even uh, animal husbandry uh, any department uh, concerning of course concerning the innovation uh, what aict and mic is doing is we are leading or we are trying to promote innovation through innovation contest this was given out last year uh, the innovation contest calls for uh, for for entries right from the ideation stage if there is a idea please submit the student can submit the idea on the on the website that idea gets picked up we have the proof of concept uh, we have the prototyping also then the trls happen the various levels are checked and finally 
uh, we we also uh, happen to give them some kind of a uh, seed funding the seed funding of course we uh, as a, as an institution we do not have much to give but then yes seed funding yes we, we, there is already i think if i am not wrong 17 uh, ideas have already been taken up who have already received some kind of seed funding and then uh, select out of those have already gone to canada under canada india accelerator program and also some about 7 or 10 of them have gone to uh, for training at south korea as well there is a uh, there is a well public document uh, documented uh, startup policy that aict has given out so these are some of the things that uh, aict is trying to do to help innovation the only thing is the students uh, who or the iics who are there they should pick up throw entries at uh, and in this contest uh, it is there is never a failure in startup i fail to understand why we call if, uh, you know startup as failures at times uh, there is never a failure at one step or the other there is all of course uh, if if you if you are not selected in stage 2 doesn't means that you have failed you have submitted the idea out the only sense of uh, making this is uh, is in the digital domain one of the uh, good slides that i think is quite original digital is all about zeros and one uh, it's more about uh, distinguishing ones from zeros if we go back in analog domain it was you know how high or low you go but when it comes to digital it is you know at a from a particular threshold if it is more than that then it is one and if it is below then it is zero and slowly and slowly we decided as to how we, from the noise we can you know break out with this is one and this is zero the idea of innovation is same we have to achieve, achieve higher throughput by distinction there is no other way to achieve uh, distinct uh, there is no other way to have innovation other than by distinction the only way innovation gets recognized is through distinction so the idea is same as far as digital is concerned and innovation is concerned i believe the idea is same so that is all i have to say in uh, 10 15 minutes thank you very much for listening to me uh, anything that i can do please do let me know uh, some paradigms which are beyond the boundaries and when we have uh, people who need uh, gps is and uh, my mom tells me that which way to go i better turn that way and since i also handle media at times please do follow us on social media so that we can share important updates thank you very much back to the organizer please thank you so much lefton conil kailash bansal director aict and uh, uh, i think you talked about mark digital initiative you also talked about teachers role the guide to transform uh, the mentality of a student to become an entrepreneur and uh, we also talked about the, how startups should not consider them as a failure if they have not passed through the c2 funding or c2 round it reminds me of a great quote by the great man called nelson mandela he said that the great greatest glory in living lies not in never falling but in rising every time you fall i think all startups on all, all entrepreneurs should remember this throughout their life that this journey will be tough but there's always we have to take those challenges and opportunities to transform the ecosystem of bending mind to entrepreneurial minds so thank you so much lefton conley kailash bansal director acd for joining us in this inaugural of the second day of national skill and entrepreneurship innovation conclave